Hey everyone, how's it going? Five Finger Shuffle back here with another video. And today what I want to do is do another of the The Best series. Um, we're going to talk about the espers. So let's come down to the espers. For those of you that haven't watched this series before, what we do is we go over all five elements of a certain unit, and then we decide which one we think is best, and we show you some builds and some gameplay on them. So we're down to the last couple four stars. We've done most of the other four stars. Uh, the only one we have to still do is the scanned warlord, but I want I still want to six star my light one to actually give him a proper test because uh, I feel like people haven't really tested them yet. But um, let's jump into the espers and see what the, what kind of skills they offer. So first up is Sierra. Um, I believe these are all tanks. Yeah, they're all they're all considered tanks. So first skill, every sixth attack lowers attack. Second skill, fires a fist in a direction which causes an explosion on the first enemy it strikes, stuns the enemy and damages all nearby enemies. If the enemy already had the stun debuff, it deals bonus damage instead. Uh, can be recast in a short period of time. So uh, single target stun with multi-target damage. Creates a field of psychokinetic energy, gaining a shield. The field zaps nearby enemies randomly. Each zap damages and removes one buff from the enemy. Bonus damage and shield amount based on max HP. So, as we talked about with the Archangels, these shields based on max HP are actually really strong shields. So, it is only on herself, but at least you know she will be able to keep herself alive. And then finally, releases a burst of negative psychic energy, damages and inflicts fear on nearby enemies. Bonus damage based on accuracy. So the fear debuff, for those of you who don't know, basically makes whoever it lands on, it makes them like run away from you. So uh, if you're on arena defense, say this unit's on arena defense and you're trying to attack them, you don't have immunity. If she lands fear on you, all your units are going to turn around and run away from, from her. So it's kind of unique. Um, let's see the second one. Kiva. Still the lowers attack with the first skill, but the second skill uh, causes an explosion on the first enemy it strikes, slows the enemy, and damages all nearby enemies. If the enemy already has the slow debuff, it will stun instead. So that's a little bit different. Then the shield again with the strip, which is really nice. And then the ultimate damages and silences nearby enemies. So, comparing to the fire one, they're very similar, except it's silence instead of fear, and it's a slow instead of the stun, but that can even turn into a, sun st a stun still. So, very similar. They both have the strip and the shield. Um, they also have a lower attack. On to the nature one, still the lowers attack. This one has the second skill with the stun, the double stun. Um, but the third skill is different. Generates a field of psychic energy that zaps nearby enemies, gaining a shield, and the damage reflection buff. Lowers attack speed the first time an enemy is zapped. The bonus damage and shield amount based on max HP. So this lowers attack speed is something that is very rare in the game. Um, you don't see it a lot, but it can be really good for bosses. Um, if you can lower the attack speed of the boss, that can be really handy. And then also the fear debuff on here. So, very similar again to the other two, but just that tiny bit of difference in that it has the lowers attack speed and damage reflection. On to the next one, Mave. Lowers attack, but the second skill, the, the explosion lowers defense and then turns into a stun if there's already a defense break on them. Then the shield with the strip and the fear debuff. So this one I think has a lot of potential. Um, although I did say that the same about the fire one, or sorry, the dark one. Um, I will look at the dark one next, but anything with a defense break, it has the potential to be really strong. Combine that with the fear debuff. And this could be a really strong arena defense champion. I don't happen to have one, so I haven't tried it out. But I have seen a couple people playing with her on defense. 
And then finally, Altana. This is the one that I have and the one I built. The lowers attack, then the slow that turns into a stun, then that same damage reflection and lowers attack speed debuff, plus the silence. So I don't think Altana is as good as the light one, but I had her and she's an LD four star, so I decided to build her. Um, I think she's got potential. I mean, she's got a lot of debuffs. So same with the other ones. I mean, all of these uh, espers have so many debuffs. Lowers attack, slow, stun, damage reflection, lowers attack speed, and silence. That is, that's like a lot of stuff going on. Now, she doesn't have the strip like some of the others do. But I was hoping she'd be good for arena defense. I did try her on my arena defense with pretty good gear. I'll show you the gear. Um, where is she? So she is max skilled, first of all. And here's the gear. I put her on Dazzling Sturdy. HP, HP, HP. I put her on HP, HP, HP because I wanted to increase the size of that shield. Uh, and it increases the damage she does. And then... She also got her up to 66% accuracy because... She has all those debuffs, so I wanted her to land those debuffs. And I figured she's got... 80k HP and she's gonna land all those debuffs she should be good but it just sometimes it worked like sometimes it caught people off guard and they would send me a message saying hey that Altana wrecked me on your defense but then other people are just like please take that Altana off your defense it makes it too easy so it kind of depends on which offense you're facing but um, they're at, you definitely can use them anyway now, in terms of which one I think would be the best, first of all, I guess the gear choices. Uh, I think Dazzling is best on them because they do have skills that are multi-skills. So this one can hit multiple people. This one can hit multiple people. Um, this one can hit multiple people. Yeah, so they can, they're all multi-hit skills, which is nice. The slow here is only single target, but it still will hit the other enemies. So Dazzling has a chance to AoE stun. Um, I know Dazzling just got a nerf, but it's not that big of a nerf. I still think it's relatively strong if you have good Dazzling gear. Um, but yeah, in terms of which one I think is the best, I think I have to go with the light one. The light one with the defense break is... The defense break and that fear debuff is kind of interesting to me. So defense break on the second skill, and then that fear debuff on the ultimate. I think she would be a lot of fun to play with. Really only good for arena defense, I think. I can't, or I guess blitz. Um, I can't really picture her being used anywhere else just yet. Maybe once Guild Wars come out in update four. Um, but yeah, if you happen to have her, then congratulations. Uh, build her up, show her some love, and let me know if she works for you. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for today's video. I do want to mention that we are up to 952 followers on Twitch right now, which means we're only 48 followers away from 1,000. If you want to go follow the channel, that would be amazing. Um, the link is twitch.tv slash fivefingershuffle. You can see it down in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, when we hit 1,000 followers, we will be having a giveaway stream. So first of all, we have new t-shirts to give away. If you're not following me on Instagram, that link is down below as well. Um, but I did leak the t-shirt design for the 1,000 follower giveaway. And on top of that, we will also be having in-game loot from Gameloft as well. We haven't decided on what it's going to be yet. But uh, last time it was gems, tutors, and fuzzle puffs. So if you do want in on that giveaway, help us get to 1,000 followers. Um, head over to Twitch and throw the channel a follow. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all soon with another video, guys. Uh, the next video will probably be the updated tier list for um, post-patch. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.